Good afternoon and thank you, Governor. As Governor ba Baker said, these last seven months have been unprecedented. In April, Governor Baker tasked me and Secretary Keneally with leading a reopening advisory board charged with developing Massachusetts' plan for reopening our economy, together with individuals who comprise this board and worked really hard as volunteers with us on this effort. We spent hours working with public health experts and the employer community to introduce a gradual, phased-in reopening plan that would follow our public health data. I wish to thank the business community for embracing uh, the industry protocols and your ongoing compliance to make your workplaces safer for your employees and for the people you do business with or serve. Thank you so very much. But since May, we have been gradually reopening our economy and we've been doing so with success. We know there are still some sectors and communities that are struggling. It's really hard for them and we know that. But we will keep working together as strong partners to support our Massachusetts economy. Since this pandemic began, we've worked to support every industry in every corner of our Commonwealth. Early on, we made $20 million in emergency capital available for Massachusetts-based small businesses and have, had, and have implemented tax relief measures. Most recently, we launched the Mass Local, My Local MA campaign uh, to drive uh, people to shop, dine, visit local, explore other places in the Commonwealth that maybe you haven't been to and really enjoy the best of Massachusetts and at the same time support small businesses and restaurants and places that make up the character and fabric of our downtowns and main streets throughout our cities and towns. We've also focused specifically on helping residents and communities that have been hit hardest by COVID-19, like the 18,000 Massachusetts residents experiencing homelessness. In April, in partnership with homeless shelters and our municipalities, we outlined a comprehensive strategy to address homelessness during this pandemic. This included establishing five isolation and recovery sites for COVID-19 positive homeless individuals and working with cities and towns across our state, quarantine sites were also stood up to provide a safe place for homeless individuals who were exposed to COVID-19 with an expedited process for homeless shelters and municipalities to request equipment and supplies. An an expedited process for PPE distribution to shelters was also put in place for gear and cleaning supplies throughout this process. We continue to reiterate our administration's message for survivors of domestic violence and sexual assault throughout the Commonwealth. And our message has consistently been and will continue to be that you are not alone, that you can get help, that there are resources available. Please follow where these phone numbers and these access points will take you. We, we care about you and we're watching out for you. DHCD and DPH instituted practices outlined by the C CDC to mitigate COVID-19 outbreaks within congregate uh, shelters to support families in emergency assistance and domestic violence shelters. In addition to the homeless population and survivors, COVID-19 has had a statewide impact on communities and residents who have experienced food insecurity and who have also been disproportionately impacted. As a result, we made 56 million in funding available to a wide array of programs and initiatives in order to help ensure individuals and families have access to affordable, nutritious food, consistent with findings of the Food Security Task Force. This is a group of amazing people, our legislators and our community providers and members of our agencies really working together to help solve this issue. 36 million was made available through the COVID-19 Food Security Infrastructure Grant Program for increasing capacity for food direct delivery to food banks and food pantries and local food distribution partners and coming up with innovative solutions for people receiving SNAP and WIC benefits efficiently and quickly. 
and developing a, a food system business, locally sourcing uh, this food to get to uh, the person who needs it the most through the food distribution channels that exist. It's a really incredible effort and something that we can learn from and continue the best practices going forward. We increased the Healthy Incentives Program by $5 million, provided $12 million for the provision of 25,000 family food boxes per week through a regional food supply system, and $3 million in immediate funding to food banks. And many of you traveled to places for us to showcase what this looked like, and thank you for coming along that, that ride with us. There is a housing crisis here, as we all know, and which has only been exacerbated by this pandemic. In June, we created a $20 million emergency rental and mortgage assistance program, which was also funded in part through the federal CDBG allocation. It builds upon the RAFT program, which received a $5 million infusion at the beginning of the pandemic in March. And yesterday, in partnership with the trial court and our legislative colleagues and various other stakeholders, we announced a $171 million eviction diver diversion initiative to support tenants and landlords during the financial challenges caused by this pandemic. Our goal is to provide new options for tenants to stay in their homes and to support the expenses of landlords by making investments to new and existing programs like the RAFT program, like Home Base, and like other proven programs. Putting dollars into the hands of tenants and landlords keep these properties in place and keeps tenants, people, individuals, and families in their homes. That's very important, always, but especially during this uncertain time. This Commonwealth was hit hard early on, but by working together and remaining vigilant, as the governor has often and continues to remind us of, we've been able to tackle this disease head on but we all know we are where we are because everybody needs to do their part. We all have a role to play, and I'm confident that we will continue to work together to fight this pandemic, to help recover, and to get through these upcoming months. I thank you all. I'm personally very grateful uh, to, to work with all of you.